can focus on the 19-5 and 5 finish as opposed to finishing just short of the playoffs? Uh, I don't know if we're there yet. I'm still kind of soaking it in. It's uh, last night was a uh, such a incredible roller coaster with a, such a high at one moment, then such a low at the next. Never felt like something like that. So, um, you know, I think it will take some time to reflect. But I know we're we're definitely proud of of the of the time we put in here the last two months. What can you take from those last two months that you're confident will transfer over to next season? Okay? I think. Uh, you know, as a group, we learned you know how to win hockey games again. Um, you know, I think we have a foundation of uh, how to play here, um, a work ethic, and you know, a group that's you know shared a lot together this year. Um, you know, it seems like majority of guys will be back, and um, I think it's a group that has a great foundation to build off of. I would argue that extends beyond the dressing room. You talk about relationships established, just the love affair that the city had with the team at the end of the season. Can, can you see that continuing? Can you feel sort of a vibe from the from the fans? Absolutely. It's uh, like no other time. I mean, here it's it's really incredible right now. There's uh, you know fans everywhere coming up to players, thanking them and everything. And you know it's um, and that's what we should be we should be playing this way. You know all the time. That's what they deserve and. They they enjoyed uh, following a team, um, seeing it put their you know everything out every night their passion and um, they really you know enjoyed being able to be proud of uh, of a team. Did you enjoy this? I mean, Nick Foligno and Cam both said that this was the most fun that they've had in a long time as a hockey player. Yeah, it's been it was it's been a long time since something like this. Um, you know, winning is the most fun thing there is in sports. That's why I play. Uh, Unfortunately, didn't end the way we wanted to, um, but we did some uh, some incredible things the last two months. And the the hard part is knowing. I think we we knew we could have done a lot more in the playoffs. I think we weren't going to be a team that was just happy to get in. That's that's kind of the part that you know eats at you right now. A lot of credit goes to your goalie for what he did this year, but your coaching staff I don't think gets enough credit. Can you speak to what they meant to your group this year? Yeah, they were. It's a great staff. I mean, uh, had a lot of experience there. Um, they're a very positive group. I think that reflected in how we started to play. Um, you know, they were extremely hard. Um, the amount of time they put in, the our penalty kill from the things that Woody and his group did. I mean, um, we definitely had a very, very good coaching staff this year that really translated to the way we were playing on the ice. High and then the low, by far. Yeah, by far. Because it's, I think when we won that game. We we really thought we were going to be in. We we felt like something was going to happen that we were going to get in. All we had we had to win. And um, like I said, I think we really felt we could have done something in these playoffs. You know, it wasn't going to be uh, show up and we're done kind of thing. It was we were going to win some hockey games. Looking forward to the move east. Can't wait. <laughs> I'm really excited. I, I love playing the East teams. I'm, I'm an East guy, so I'm, I'm really excited for it. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be different. It's going to be exciting, new. Um, it's going to be hard. Our division is going to be very tough, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Let me ask you this. I know that hockey players talk in the ice, and I can imagine the sort of things that were trash talked to the Blue Jackets in seasons before. Was it nice that? Opponents had to find some new material this year. <laughs> well, I think that what was nice, I think we gained some respect. I think uh, you know, for a while we've been uh, just kind of team that just got their you know foot stomped on, and and it's tired. It's old being having that happen. It's old being the laughing stock, and uh, there's a lot of a lot of guys on this, our team have pride, and you know we we enjoyed getting some respect, and we earned it, and we want to now just continue earning it.